Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about a circuit diagram and working of Hartley oscillator. In case of oscillator, we know that uh, essential condition that is a sufficient gain and positive feedback. This two condition is very essential and the product of gain and feedback factor that is a dot beta should be equal to 1 for sustained oscillations. Now let us understand the circuit diagram for the Hartley oscillator. We have used one transistor that is the Q and that is the NPN type of transistor as an active device and it has a sufficient gain. The supply plus VCC is given to the collector of the NPN transistor. R1 and R2 both are biasing a resistor to provide sufficient bias voltage to the transistor. Resistor RE that is connected to the emitter circuit that is for the stabilization and capacitor CE is connected as a bypass capacitor. We give energy for the oscillations to the tank circuit through a coupling capacitor that is a CC2. Here we can see the coupling capacitor at the output side. Then we have tank circuit which is required for the generation of oscillations. We have L and C parallel circuit that is known as LC tank circuit or LC tuned circuit. In case of inductor that is divided into two parts L1 and L2. The center point is grounded and then we take the output. The feedback is very important in case of a oscillator circuit. We do not give any input. Initially when A dot beta is greater than 1 oscillation start and to maintain sustained oscillations a dot beta is equal to 1. So the voltage from the L2 that is the bottom part of the inductor circuit is taken as a feedback and it is connected to the base via a coupling capacitor CC1. The function of coupling capacitor CC1 that is to block the DC voltage going to the oscillator circuit. In the collector circuit, we use a radio frequency chalk which is connected to the collector circuit and supply VCC is connected to the collector circuit through RFC. Now let us understand the working of the Hartley oscillator. The energy required for the tank circuit to generate the oscillations that is provided by the radio frequency chalk when collector is switched on the current pass through the collector and the energy is transferred through the coupling capacitor CC2 to the tank circuit. Oscillations are generated in the tank circuit and positive feedback is taken from the L2 and through the input side coupling capacitor it is connected to the base. So with the sufficient gain of the transistor and positive feedback with the help of LC tank circuit we can generate the oscillator and it is known as a Hartley oscillator. Now let us understand the frequency F. It is known as a resonance frequency and it is given by the equation 1 divided by 
2 pi under root lc in case of oscillator we know that when a reactance of the capacitor and the reactance of the inductor are equal at that time we have a parallel resonance and that frequency is known as a resonance frequency so required frequency of the oscillation can be achieved with the appropriate selection of the L and the C. In case of Hartley oscillator, inductor L is divided into two parts and that is L1 plus L2. So L1 plus L2 is total value of the inductor L required to generate desired frequency. So this is all about a Hartley oscillator. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.